the big man who's been awesome in his first couple games as a member of the pack. Here's Markel Johnson. Game two of the season for Markel. Corey, I wasn't sure we'd see the single-digit part of the shot clock the entire game, but with two on the clock, the three from Brewer is money. You got to know that stuff, man. You throw Corciani out there. Love, love Corciani. But there you was put basketball that was unfolding in front of us. Here's Brewer from the other side. Same result for Tevin Brewer. The first two coming in, but this was the matchup I was expecting to see. And it's a win for the Panthers. Johnson as they get a turnover. And Brewer now with eight points. The smallest guy on the floor make a statement early. The pressure on Marco Johnson bringing the ball up for D.J. Bryce from the foul line gets it to fall. It's a luxury to have. And the rebound finds Andrews. That matched up Brewer with Chris Likes, and they're similar players. Manny Bates with his first block shot of the night. And FIU is out of bounds. It's Wolfpack ball. Was behind him coming for the basketball. Hurricanes coaching staff would have appreciated the back check. Meanwhile, here's Jacob to the bucket for two. One thing you'll see from FIU, they will switch one through five, which puts, you see the big on a point guard. Thunderbird with a tip in. But it also leaves. They shot 62% from two, though. Shot clock winding down. Tough shot goes for Cam Corcoran. Buckets at the buzzer, the shot clock buzzer. And you mentioned before, with the pace that we thought this game would be played, we didn't think we would see many of those shots being taken at the end of the shot clock buzzer. Helms with his second field goal at the other end. Osagai over Funderburk for two. And nice interior passing there. Eric Lovett. Osagai, the former rock arm with a nifty move. He's showing nice touch around the basket. Scored 12 points in the opener against Georgia Tech. A game in which the Wolfpack didn't trail in regulation as Devin Daniels gets to the rim. More importantly, taking care of them when they get those opportunities. It's become one of the 21st century traditions of college basketball. VCU coaches moving on and then going home and getting beat. A really good night of Colgate could have gotten the best of Syracuse in the Dome, but of course the Orange took care of business as Pat Andre rattles in his first shot of the night for three. C.J. Bryce to Andre, same spot, same result. Dif defensive breakdown, you have to know the scouting report. Beverly with a bigger Osaka guy on him. Find some daylight, puts it in. But here's, here's my dilemma with that. Bates right now hasn't developed an offensive package to where he's the guy that you really want to go into and that puts him in a bad predicament. It ends up being a turnover, which turns into a bucket on the other end of the floor for the Panthers. Andre again from the corner. He loves this challenge of getting to go up against Markel Johnson. Of course, Markel Johnson, one of the better point guards in the country. Now Bates has the smaller Brewer on him, and there's three more for Andre. Finding Andre on the wing, four feet beyond the arc. But as he close to that corner, I will be looking that direction. Bates makes a move on Jacob and scores. That's a nice move by Bates. He talked about where he, his defense is ahead of his offense. Be ready for that type of analysis. Shot clock's winding down to two, and Bryce flips it in. Great job by C.J. Bryce avoiding the charge. By you scoring draft continues. And you see C.J. Bryce jumping to his right, avoiding the contact. Those are the type of plays when you're as important to this team as C.J. Bryce is, you have to make to stay out of foul trouble. Markel Johnson, no. Manny Bates, indeed. Of course, he can play off the basketball and normally get those good looks. But FIU's done a great job of really wearing them down as we see Markel get to the basket. But can they match up athletically with the Wolfpack? Jacob pops and hits. Trayvon Jacob, who grew up here in Raleigh. Out of rhythm by sitting the entire remainder of the first half. Tippin credited to Daniels, and there is the fifth three of the half. You no, know he can make big shots when they need. The question is, can he be consistent and do it 40 minutes in, in games that aren't necessarily the big marquee games? How much fun is Tevin Brewer? I tell you what, Tevin Brewer is having a great time here in Raleigh. He is Osaka on the glass. 
looked like Funnerberg got him on the arm. Instead, it's going to work out for FIU as Lovett slams it home. Rejecting Helms was Andrews. Well, that's the thing, you know, with, with many of the Power 5 schools, nice play there. Chance for an end one. Osasu Osaga, the contact. One of Helms' shots gets blocked again, but of course, you're talking about one of the leading shot blockers in the country getting back. And there's Devon Andrews from downtown. Especially with FIU going for blocks, but that's one of those opportunities when you get them, you got to be able to take care of them and put them back in for two points. NC State did a great job of that in the first half. From the outside, that's down for Bryce. Surely the offense that Kevin Keats had to run, just a great individual play by C.J. Bryce. We're tied for the third time until Tevin Brewer with a tough teardrop for FIU. Helms to Bates. Beverly tried to sneak the pass through, didn't get there. At the other end, Day with a left hand for a couple. Got his first D1 offer last December from Eastern Kentucky, and then about a month later, FIU reached out, and he's been a great pickup. I don't think there's any question that that's been the story of the first 25. What about the last 15? Well, there's three more for Tavon Andrews. And turnovers, putting the ball back into the hands of the Panthers. At some point, the guy that scores the way he does is going to get hot. Off of a made basket. Love it. Hangs in the air and gets two. What numbers are they looking to get out of him this year? Oh, more than that. I mean, when you think about it, because he's going to play heavy minutes off the bench, and he's skilled enough to where when you get to ACC action, Boston, Massachusetts. to the bucket. But that's coming off of getting stops. When they're able to get stops and get out in transition. A <laughs> day answering and one. A huge three-point play because it had been a 9-1 run for NC State to slingshot this game around. Daniels takes it to the rack and kisses it home. So you're saying this is not the first block party they played this year? Every game has been a block party at PNC. <laughs> He now has 13. Yes, CJ Bryce quietly putting together a very nice evening. But this young man has had a great evening. Some wings. Got some wing sauce on his shirt. <laughs> so he put the jacket on over it. Back to her feet. Another block. Thunderbird. FIU. Still down by just six. But they turn it over for the 12th time of the half. Four on one. Daniels for two. Sorry, the base does on the defensive end of the floor. It's great to start games that way and bring that level of energy and his ability to block shots. Markel gets it to go over Osaga. Now, FIU needing the matchup, and we see Brewer coming back into the game. He's had a tremendous imprint on this game. Shocked that he wasn't back in earlier. And he's a nice finish once again by Manny Bates. Matching the offensive performance he put forward on Sunday. Yeah, we really haven't talked enough about the production that he's had coming off the bench. And of course, started game one. Fourth assist of the night for Markel, who's eighth all-time on the assist list at NC State. Meanwhile, Devon Andrews isn't done yet. Finding people inside, but he's taking more of a command of this game over the last five, six minutes. Shot clock winding down. Markel jumps in for three. Johnson. Rebound Bates for two. You said it was five? There, there's six. There's two others. There's two others. One played at Wake Forest tonight. Mike Morell at UNC Asheville. I knew that one. That's my guy. And then okay. uh, at Mount St. Mary's. He'll dish it for Beverly with Brewer in his grill to Thunderbird to beat the buzzer. We got three more home games, two of which will be played at Reynolds Coliseum, and then a trip up to Brooklyn to play Penny Hardaway's Memphis Tigers. And they're but always better at the end of the season than they are at the beginning. Brewer rejected by Thunderbird, and that is how we will wrap it up.